watching Maine's Total Weather and News. I'm Kyle Jones. And I'm Steve Minnick, the 34 year old woman who claims she was sexually assaulted near Portland's Back Cove this week in broad daylight, has now admitted to police that she made up the entire story. Police say they may never know why she made up that story, but that woman could be charged with filing a false report. Five years ago, police did charge another woman when she lied about a similar incident happening at Back Cove as well. Three men charged with murder in the, this week's killing of a Maine man inside a Cumberland Avenue apartment did not enter pleas in court Friday afternoon. A bill to show Mohammed Mohammed and Osman Sheikh were all ordered to be held without bail. They are charged in the death of 49 year old Freddie Akoa. All three were already in custody at the Cumberland County Jail on unrelated charges. And four employees of a paving company were hurt when their truck slammed into a tree on Route 35 in Hollis Friday morning. State police say the driver suffered a concussion and does not remember what happened before the crash. The truck was hauling a trailer carrying paving equipment to a job in Wyndham. And Red Sox manager John Farrell has been diagnosed with stage one lymphoma. He made that announcement Friday afternoon. Farrell will leave the team to begin treatment next week, so bench coach Tori Lavolo will take over as the manager. Thank you for joining us for this News 8 web updates. Make sure to check back at WMTW.com and our mobile app for the top stories and weather anytime. Have a great evening.